Hi, today we're going to talk about using get correctly in English. Let's get started. The word get has many usages in English. Let's go over a few of the most common ones. For example, get can mean to obtain or acquire. It can also mean to become or to arrive. The word get can also be used in phrasal verbs or other English expressions. Let's see how it works. For starters, let's talk about pronunciation. The word get is often reduced in English. That means that we don't say it as loudly as the words around it. For example, get sick, get back, get married. Notice that the word get is said softer than the words following it. In American English, it almost sounds like get, get sick, get back, get married. Another thing about get is that it indicates a transition or a new start. Something is changing or becoming something else. So we use the word get to indicate a quick transition between one situation and another. Think of it like this. Get only happens for an instant, like a snap. Something changes, the situation is different. After that, we use another verb. For example, something happened, then get, changes the situation, and then something new is in place. With get, it does not occur for a long time. It changes, and then we go on to another verb. Let's look at some examples. With the meaning obtain or acquire, we use the word get to show the change. For example, last Friday, I didn't have a car. Then I purchased a car on Saturday. Now I have a car. Can you see where the change occurred? The change occurred when we purchased or bought the car. So we can say, I didn't have a car. I got a new car. Now I have a new car. So get means the change between not having a car and having or owning a car. It's okay to use the past tense with get or the future tense. Next week, I will get a new car. We seldom use get in the present tense. We don't say, I get a new car now. Also, we do not use it to express situations over a long period of time. We do not say, I have gotten a car for five days. No, you only got the car on one day. You, you have owned the car or you've had the car for five days. Let's look at another example. I got a job, now I have a job. What happened? I was hired, now I am employed. So think of the previous situation. I was unemployed, then what happened? I got a job, now I am employed, or I have a job. What changed? My status. How did it change? I got a job. So the action is get, and the status is be or have. I am employed, I have a job. For the second definition, become, get also indicates a transition or a change. Let's look at some examples. Last week I was fine. Yesterday I got sick. I changed from being fine to sick. Now I am sick. We do not say, how long have you gotten sick? We say, how long have you been sick? I have been sick since yesterday. That's my status. It changed when I got sick. With become and using get to indicate transition or change, you can look at it like this. Here are some more examples. You had a previous status, then the change occurred. You became 
sick, for example. Then you have a new status. Here are some examples. Be well, get sick, be sick. Usually we say this in the past tense. I was well, I got sick, now I am sick. Another example, be for, poor, get rich, be rich. Be energetic, get tired, be tired. Be not ready, get ready, be ready. Be unstuck, get stuck, be stuck. Be unused to something, get used to something, be used to something. Can you see the pattern here? This is how it works. Here are some related meanings. For example, get better, be better. I got better yesterday, I am better now. In English, we like to say, get finished. That means I completed the task. Now, I am finished. I'm talking about my status or situation. Related words are get through, be through, get done, and be done. We can also say get started to indicate the beginning of something. After that, we are in the process of something or we are doing something. Here's some more related concepts. Get married and be married. Get engaged and be engaged. Get divorced and be divorced. For example, last year I was single. Then something happened. I got married. I am married now. The old status is I was single. Then the ceremony occurred. Now, the new status is that I am married. Do not say, I have gotten married for three years. No, that means you keep getting married over and over again, and that's not likely. You only get married once. The third meaning is arrive at a location. Some expressions for this are get home, get back, get to school get here or get there. For example, when did you get back? I got back last Thursday. I am at home now. We can also say I am home now. That's your new situation. Get can also be used in phrasal verbs. For example, get up, be up, wake up, and be awake. What's the difference? Wake up means when you open your eyes after sleeping. Get up means you get out of bed. For example, what time did you wake up? I woke up at 7 o'clock, but I didn't get up until 7.30. I have been up for five hours. It's 12.30 now. Some other expressions. Get by which means just survive, get over, which means overcome, get around, which means go places, get away, which means escape. Sometimes we say get away with something. That means we don't suffer the consequences. These are some general phrasal verbs with some general definitions. Here's some more phrasal verbs in English with get. Get on, get off, get in or get into, and get out of. What's the difference between these? Well, the difference is in the mode of transportation. We get on an airplane, get on a bus, or get on a train. We also get off a bus, boat, or train. We are standing when we get on the bus or on the boat. We get into a truck or into a taxi or into or out of a car. What's the difference? With get on, we're standing and walking onto the mode of transportation. With get in and get out of, we have to move our body down. We have to bend our body or scrunch down to get into the car. Number five is expressions with get. 
There are a lot of common expressions with the word get. For example, get lost, which means go away. Get out of here, which is even stronger than that. It means go away. Get real. Be realistic. Get a life. Find a purpose. Find a cause. What's the difference between these expressions and other usages of the word get? Often, these expressions are commands. Look at the difference between a description and a command. I got lost in New York. I'm describing my situation. If I say get lost, it means I want you to go away. I'm commanding you. Go away. Get rid of means dispose or throw away. Get around to it means find time to do something. Here's some special meanings with commands. Now, a lot of these expressions are kind of rude because you're telling someone else to do something. Get busy. Get going. Get to work. Get on the ball. Get well soon. That means you need to change right now. Okay? With get well soon, it's not a strong command. It's more like a gentle command or encouragement. Now, you have to be careful because sometimes these words can have different meanings depending on the context. For example, what time did you get to work? That's descriptive. It's telling when you got to work. If the boss says to you, get to work, he's giving you a command, telling you to do something. Here's a bonus meaning, get it. Get it means understand. For example, get the joke? I don't get it. In this case, you can stress the word get. Let's do some practice. See how well you got it. Okay, choose the correct word or expression and fill in the blanks. Number one. When did you get back from your vacation? I got back last Thursday. Number two. I heard you got married last month. Actually, I have been married for two months already. Use what you have learned. Number three. My boss just told me to get back to work. I better get busy or I'll get in trouble or I'll be in trouble in the future. Number four. Please hurry and get ready. But I am ready. I'm waiting for you. Here's some more sample conversations. Number five, what time did you get up this morning? I have been up since seven o'clock. Number six, I am finished now. Great. What time did you get done? Number seven. As soon as you get off the bus, get into a taxi or get a taxi. Be quick or you won't get there in time. Number eight. How long have you been sick? I got sick last week. Oh, get well soon. That's all for today. For more videos like these, 
click on the links below. YouTube.com at English Free For You or ESLGold.com slash H-U-M-I-X. See you next time.